Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to Popeyes. Their sign is in a tree, so you can't see it. But I'm going to Popeyes. They've got a new sandwich and a couple new desserts I'm going to try out. So I'm going through drive through Hopefully they have them. I have not had the best luck with Popeyes sometimes, but um, yeah, I'll take you through and you can uh, you can see um, how it works out. In just a moment. Okay. You can order whenever you're ready. Um, yeah, can I get a, uh, a golden barbecue chicken sandwich with bacon and cheese? You just want the sandwich? Just the sandwich. Okay. Yeah, and then one of your uh, chocolate chip biscuits and a caramel apple cheesecake cup. Thank you. Thank you. They act like they had everything. Which is a good thing. Because that's usually what I have the issues with is they don't have everything. Thank you, sir. You have a good day. Thank you. Okay, I'll probably go to the side over here. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I'll just pull over here and eat. Okay, right, so here's what I ordered. I ordered the golden barbecue chicken sandwich with bacon and cheese. And then I've got the chocolate chip biscuit back here. It is warm. And then I've got the caramel apple cheesecake cup. It is cold. So uh, I'll tell you what each one of these is when I come back. But the, uh, the golden barbecue chicken sandwich with bacon and cheese was $6.59. The, um, hold on, getting a better receipt. The, um, Caramel apple cheesecake was $3.89 and the chocolate chip biscuit was $1.89. So my total was $12.37 plus tax. Then you have to pay your tax and stuff. So anyway, I'll be right back. All right, so for the description. So the golden barbecue chicken sandwich with bacon and cheese. So you could have gotten it without bacon and cheese, but I, I, bacon and cheese always sounds good to me. Um, this is, it says, it's 750 calories if you care. It says our gold, gold, our, <laughs> Our buttermilk battered all white meat chicken breast featuring our all new barbecue honey mustard, that's the golden, served on a butter toasted brioche bun with barrel cured pickles, a premium slice of Havarti cheese, and three half slices of hickory smoked bacon. That's the sandwich. Then the um, chocolate chip biscuit is soft and buttery biscuits filled with chocolate chips and topped with a drizzle of icing, which it was. Not a lot of icing, but it did have some on there. And then the caramel apple cheesecake cup is a, um, it's 460 calories. The biscuit's 310. The caramel is, is 460. It says rich cheesecake swirl with a sweet and tangy caramel apple filling over a buttery graham cracker crust, which sounds like any other cheesecake known to man, right? So I'm going to try, they did give me forks for the uh, desserts, the cups, and um, then I've got my sandwich. I didn't get the meal. I usually, I usually bring my own drink and I don't, um, I don't need the fries and stuff unless I've never tried them before. Then I'll get them. I tell you what, this is a, it's a good sized chicken sandwich. Now, one side is not, like there's no chicken on that side, but the chicken that's there is pretty hefty. And I'm trying to think of the best way. I think I'm going to go from right here. That's a good hunk of chicken. And you know what I really like about that is it's a good sized piece of chicken, but it's super, super crunchy on the outside and um, has a really nice texture. So the, the crust is crispy. The chicken is good and tender. There's plenty of moisture there. It's not dry at all. Um, 
I got a little bit of the, I'm gonna try this piece of this cheese. The cheese almost reminds you of like a mozzarella almost, but not quite as firm as that, but it kind of reminds you of that texture. It's not bad. Um, it doesn't have a lot of flavor though. I got a lot of everything in that bite, including the um, the sauce, the, the bacon, um, the pickles are, I still, I'm missing the pickles every time I bite into it because they're right there. Um, that's a really good sauce. It's actually a really nice honey mustard. It's, uh, it's a little sweet, but you still get the good mustardy flavor. The bacon is not like really hard crispy, but it's crispy enough to where you get that texture, that little chew to it. Um, again, the chicken, I love the crispiness on this chicken. That's one of the reasons um, I've always liked Kentucky Fried Chicken chicken sandwiches because they're really good and crispy. This one is also really good and crispy and they didn't um, they didn't slack off on the amount of chicken you get because you get a, a big size piece of chicken. Um, yeah, this is really good actually. I don't know how, I don't know how, but if you order it, if your chicken's gonna be this big, if it is, it's well worth the, what was it, $6 or something? Yeah, six fifty nine. Um, Well worth six fifty nine because there is a ton of chicken there. Um, mm, that's good. I would give that sandwich a, um, I'd probably give that sandwich a five out of five, honestly. And I love honey mustard anyway. Um, the pickles, by the way, I did get a bite of the pickles that time. You can taste them, but they're not overpowering. I've had some sandwiches where the pickles are so strong, that's all you taste. This is not like that. Um, this also has, um, I I don't mind, or I've eaten that, Chick-fil-A. I actually like this chicken better than the Chick-fil-A um, because it's really good and crunchy and it's got a good batter on it. Whereas the Chick-fil-A is kind of a little bit softer and it doesn't have the good crunch like this does. Even in the middle, that's good. So, um, our local Popeyes did a good job on that one. That is an excellent salad. I would come back and get that again tonight. That's how good I like it. Um, that's a really good sandwich. Um, it's got a little bit of a, it's got a little bit of a spice to it, but it's not like a, it's a real spicy, spicy. Like it's not a hot sauce or anything like that. But I just want you to know it does have a little bit of. A, a slight kick to it. I don't know if that's in their chicken breading or if that's in their honey mustard. I don't. I don't know. It's hard to say. Um, this is their little um, um, chocolate chip biscuit. I feel like I'm wearing all kinds of chicken on me. It. This was warm when I got it. I don't know how warm it is still. I did put the lid back on it, so it's a little dry. So as good as the sandwich was, this does this doesn't look promising. Let's let's see. Hmm. It's better than I thought. There's what the inside looks like. Plenty of chocolate chips in there. I wish they had a little bit more of the the glaze on it, but overall, it's not bad. Um, it is a little dry. It's basically their biscuit dough. They've just uh, put chocolate chips in it and the edges are a little dry. It's not the inside that's dry, it's the edges are dry. Not bad, but it needs some more, um, it needs more glaze to make it sweeter. The center part is really good and tender. It's just the outside edges that are a little drier. Uh, the center is really soft. Yeah, that center section right here, that's really good and tender. Yeah, that's good. It just needs to be a little sweeter. So 
if you like a nice um, chocolate chip, and it's sweet, it is sweet, but it's just not overly sweet. If you like a nice uh, biscuity kind of texture um, with a little bit of chocolate flavor that's a little sweet, I think you'll like that. So some people would, would like it not having all that glaze, so not being really heavily glazed. Um, because everybody's different, right? So some people don't like all that sweetness. I like things to be overly sweet, like I'm hoping this will be. But um, if you're looking for something that's not quite as overly sweet, that, that might hit the spot for you. And now this one is the Caramel Apple Cheesecake Cup. And I'm just gonna... It smells good. It smells like, uh, kind of smells maple. Like a maple, almost. I'm gonna scoop out a little bit of crust, okay. There's the bite. A little bit of crust on the bottom. Pretty thick cheesecake, honestly. Okay. When I said it smelled like maple, it actually has a, a little bit of a maple flavor. I love that cheesecake um, texture, that really like thick cream cheese um, cheesecake texture. I really like this. I mean, I really like that. This bite is from the very center. So I'm hoping it has some apple in there. Oh, wait, I got one little crunch of apple. Yeah, it definitely says caramel apple. It doesn't have much apple in it, honestly. The uh, the bite I had, I actually got a crunchy, like it literally went, like it crunched in my teeth. So I got a little piece of apple in there, but it is, um, it's not what I would consider apple. Um, like it's more caramely maple than apple. That being said, I love it. There's some more little apple chunks. It's weird, you do get the texture of the apple, but you don't really get the flavor of the apple. It's all, um, I can definitely see where they're saying caramel, although, like I said, it reminds me more of a maple flavor. The crust is nice, it's not too thick, but it's not too thin. You actually get the texture of it, the sugary, gritty texture. Um, this is like your no-bake cheesecake. That's what this is, like the Jell-O no-bake cheesecake. But it's really good. They did a good job on it. I wish the apple was a little bit stronger, but I do think it's really, really good. You can see I've already eaten half of it and uh, will gladly eat the rest of it because uh, it's really good. I would give that dessert a five out of five as well. Not because it's a caramel apple, just because it's a really sweet cheesecake that has a, an app, I mean, a caramel maple kind of flavor. So sandwich is a five. The, this is a five. The chocolate chip um, biscuit, I would probably give more of a, I don't know, really more of a, like a four out of five, just because I needed more glaze for me. But that's my personal preference. You might absolutely love it. It might be plenty sweet enough for you to where it's, it's perfectly fine. But um, like I said, I could come out, eat this for lunch. I would literally come here again tonight and eat the sandwich and the dessert again and be perfectly happy because it's that good. So um, you have to let me know if you try the sandwich, did you get a really good crispy chunk of chicken like that? Because uh, definitely worth the money if you get a piece that big. If they get, if you get a little bitty piece, it may not be worth the money, but the size I got, it was definitely worth it. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.